ready to give these kebabs a shot? Yeah, not really. Today we're here at the Lost Continent to try Universal's worst rated food spot. Desert Kebab House has been able to accumulate a whopping 2.8 average star review on Google and Yelp and today we're here to try it out and see for ourselves if it's really as bad as people say. So the Desert Kebab House is a quick service, Mediterranean inspired spot. It's got a pretty simple menu, it just has three different kebabs and a few sides. We're going to try some of those things out. What are we thinking about trying? you see anything? Um, I feel like we should standard try the beef and the chicken, of course, but they do have a vegan meatball one for our vegan friends. Um, can I please do a beef and a chicken kebab? First look, the, the meats look really well seasoned, so that's a good sign. Um, so it has like some kind of sauce on it, some feta cheese, and caramelized onions, and those are all like flavor enhancers, so I am expecting a flavorful bite. Um, the pita bread seems to be nice and soft but like not too soft has a little bit of give so maybe they like threw it on the grill um and yeah let's just try it out so i don't know how to like eat this do you like take the chicken off the skewer no you gotta just eat it together i can't you kind of just like i don't know me i was gonna take the, the maybe you just take it you pull the skewer out and then you eat it i don't think like, you use can. this pole you pull like that oh man it's just stuck on there yeah it's like <laughs> okay well I'm like, I don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I got it. Oh, you did it? Okay. Got it. All right. All right. So, so I'm trying the chicken. I'm like, interchange or alternate or whatever. All right. One, two, three. I got a bread bite, so I have to like work through the pita. What do you think? Hmm. Got pretty bready bites. Um, the bread is good, it's soft. You don't taste stale or anything. Mm -mm. Um, the meat's very flavorful, it's got a nice little spice to it. But I'm gonna take another bite, see if I can get more of the meat flavor. Or I might just take a piece of the meat by itself. Eat it that way. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. This is what the beef kind of looks like. And I got chicken. You can tell they use chicken thighs. It's mm. very tender. The beef isn't as tender. It's not dry, but it's a little bit tougher. Um, it's very flavorful though. The chicken's good. It's nice and tender. I think it has similar like seasoning and spice. Um, and there is like a little kick to mm -hmm. this, so I wasn't expecting that really. Um, but it's good. All right. Now we're switching. Let me try some chicken. I'm gonna try the chicken by itself first, though. This already to the touch is way more tender. I don't know how you bit this, but it was, it's like weird. <laughs> kind of like moved the meat around, like yeah. went back. Okay, so I already think the chicken is my favorite between the two. It's already really delicious. I'll try it with the pita. You know what's funny? I actually like the beef more. Wow. Yeah, I like the chicken a lot. Um, I like the beef a lot. The team member that rung us up at the register said the chicken was really good. I think that the beef is actually really tender and works well with the, the seasoning than the chicken does with the seasoning. Mm. I um, think like I just like fattier cuts of beef. Maybe that's my thing. I don't love he lean does, cuts. He does love fatty I like cuts. Ribeye. I like lean. I like lean cuts. <laughs> this is really good. I definitely like it more over the chicken. Final thoughts. It was good. The kebabs were actually better than I was expecting. You know, they were cooked really well. The chicken I thought was really tender. Um, they were seasoned really well. Yeah. The seasonings and spices were all delicious. Um, it's just something about when something is has like bad reviews, you don't really walk in with the high expectations. So if it's actually good, yeah. 
you know, you're kind of pleasantly surprised instead of like being disappointed. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I think the, the kebabs were, you know, pretty good for what they were. They're nice and flavorful. The, uh, the meat wasn't dry or anything at all. It was cooked well. I think the only thing is that I can't really justify the price yeah, they were um, for what it is that you get. Like, it's good. Um, I don't feel comfortable highly recommending it, but it is good if you are going to go. Yeah, it was like $15 a piece. Mm -hmm. And that was, so the beef kebab was $15.99. The chicken kebab was $14.99. We didn't get it with chips, which took off a dollar each. So we're talking $13.99 and $14.99. And that just is really high for, yeah. you know, meat on pita. <laughs> Um, I think if it was around like the 10 or $11 range, I would feel a lot more comfortable recommending it to people, but it is good. So if you're gonna go, um, just know, you know, it's good. What would you rate it? I give it a three out of five, just for the price. Same, I would do a three out of five. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming along with us and trying the worst food at Universal. Turns out it wasn't that bad. You can't really judge a place usually by its reviews. You just have to go out and try it. Hope you come out, give it a try for yourself, and let us know what you think. And remember, food is universal. See y'all. That's scary. Can you hear it? That's actually terrifying. <laughs>